Just think about it for a second. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jeremiah was before David. Mm. <laughs> oh, God Almighty. Jeremiah was before David. He was before David's father. I'm talking about visions now, young people. Stay with me. How is it then that Jeremiah now calls David's name? When Jeremiah is way ahead of David's time. In his days Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the name whereby he shall be called. The righteous Lord. The Lord our righteousness. I'm going to show you how our God's work when he gives you vision. Turn with me, hallelujah, to Isaiah chapter 11, uh, verse 1. Hallelujah. Uh, God Almighty. The Bible says, line upon line, precept on precept. Some of you, I see some of you faces, you aren't even looking in the Bible because you're like, what, is, what kind of preaching is this on a Saturday night? Uh, don't worry. Hallelujah. So now Isaiah, the Bible said that got a vision from the Lord also. The Lord put in his spirit or put in his hand and told him to write. And he wrote, hallelujah, as the spirit of God allowed him to. And Isaiah said in the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1 to 2. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom counsel wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of fear and of lord so when isaiah got it isaiah got the name of the father when jeremiah got it jeremiah got the name of the son are you with me here, church? Are you staying with me, church? The Bible lets us know now. Turn to the book of St. Matthew. Hallelujah. And I told you the Lord hasn't given me any long messages. It's just a short message and I'm done. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of St. Matthew. Hallelujah. Chapter 1. It's interesting, church. Oh, when we walk with God. God will begin to reveal some things unto us that we never even thought about. Huh? How many of you, God, has downloaded some things inside of you? Huh? You ain't never seen it before. Huh? You ain't never heard it before. Huh? But he put it inside of your spirit. Huh? And you're afraid, hallelujah, huh? to embrace what it is that he's given you. Huh? The Lord has sent me specifically to you tonight. He has sent me for you to know huh, that this is how he works. Huh? He births inside of you huh, something that is going to, hallelujah, be fulfilled. Huh? But he doesn't just leave it at you. Huh? He gets over here and he said, Brother Gail, huh, here is something huh, that is for the future. Huh? But he doesn't just leave it there. Huh? He jumps into the future huh, and then he gets somebody now huh, and say right hallelujah check the history huh. God spoke to this person huh, and they wrote it huh. God spoke to brother Gail huh, and he wrote it huh. check the history now huh. let's check it line upon line huh. precept upon precept huh. in the book of hallelujah huh. Matthew chapter hallelujah 1 verse 17 huh. the Bible lets us know huh. And that so are the generations from 
Abraham ha, to David of uh, 14 generations uh, and from David unto the till the carrying away into Babylon of 14 generations uh, and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ of uh, 14 generations uh, the Bible told Isaiah uh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 7 uh, that behold a virgin uh, shall be with child uh, and his name shall be called Emmanuel uh, he spoke back to Isaiah huh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 11 huh, and he said that person is gonna come huh, from the branch and the roots of Jesse huh. he got into Jeremiah and he says son of man huh, you've been speaking whoa 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 unto the nation huh. now I'm gonna let you speak huh, promise unto the nation huh. I'm gonna let you speak back life into the nation huh. I'm gonna let you speak something huh, that will give the nation hallelujah huh, hope hallelujah huh. and so so now when they spoke it huh, and they wrote it huh, Matthew hallelujah pulled up the law and he said oh hold on hold on hold on huh, hallelujah hallelujah huh, what is this huh? and the Bible lets us know that Matthew put pen huh, to paper and he began to write huh, these are the generation huh? so he showed you where it came from hallelujah huh? how it came from David as it was prophesied huh? and now he showed you hallelujah huh? and that hallelujah the woman now huh, was with child huh? and so that is why we read huh? hallelujah 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 help me holy ghost huh? when we read hallelujah huh? in the book of uh the same hallelujah book of Matthew chapter 1 huh? and when we read hallelujah verse 21 huh? hallelujah the Bible lets us know that when the angel came to hallelujah Joseph huh? he said to Joseph Joseph huh? put not Mary away huh? for that which is conceived in her huh? is that of the Holy Ghost huh? uh, this is Matthew writing now and Matthew wasn't even there huh? uh, Oh God Almighty Jesus. Huh? But Matthew can be a record that this is indeed a factual huh? because it was spoken. Huh? And just as how it was spoken, huh? in order it was fulfilled. Huh? And so he said in verse 21, the angel, huh? and she shall bring forth a son, huh? and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Huh? For he shall save his people huh? from their sins. Huh? I want to tell an unbeliever in this place today huh? that you have hope today huh? because the Savior has come hallelujah huh? it was prophesied huh? by the prophets hallelujah huh? and so because it came to pass now huh? you have a hope but I ain't stopping here. Huh? We're going on. Huh? Hallelujah. I am appointed. Huh? Therefore, I am a conqueror. Huh? Hallelujah. Because God had called Jeremiah huh? and had put in Jeremiah everything huh? and it came to pass. Huh? It showed us that Jeremiah really, huh? though he was a weeping prophet, huh? hallelujah, still was able to conquer huh? in the time that he was living. Huh? I want to tell somebody here today, huh? you might feel discouraged huh? in this season because you're saying, Lord, huh? I'm the only one that's standing up for you. Huh? And you might feel as if, hallelujah, huh? you want to keep your mind mouth shut huh? but hallelujah I'm here to tell you huh? hallelujah that you have been appointed huh? and because you're appointed huh? you have already won huh? you have already got the victory huh? you don't got to worry about your faces huh? I hear the spirit of God saying to me huh? worry not about your faces huh? 
will not afraid of their faces. Uh, am I talking to somebody here uh, that you're in this place and you're discouraged? Uh, you're discouraged because you're saying, God, uh, when I look on their faces, it's not pleasant. Uh, when I look on their faces, they don't want to hear what I am saying. Uh, when I look on their faces, uh, it shows me that if I open up my mouth one more time, uh, I'm going to do you something. Uh, but shake somebody's hand like you're crazy. Uh, and tell them I'm appointed uh, and so I'm more than a conqueror uh, I'm more than a conqueror uh, I'm talking to somebody in here today uh, be not afraid of their faces uh, if God said open up your mouth and speak uh, you got to speak thus say the Lord uh, if God said lift up your foot and walk uh, you got to walk thus say the Lord uh, you cannot be afraid of the faces uh, of people because people face uh, hallelujah with lead you astray. Ha. The same people that build you up, hallelujah, ha, is the same people ha, that's gonna tear you down. Ha. You wonder why God told Jeremiah ha, not to have any friends ha, because he didn't want nobody tearing him down. Ha, because you can't hurt me ha, unless you're close to me. Oh God Almighty, ha. I'm going down some places here. Ha. You can't do me nothing ha, unless you're on my bosom. Ha. That's because now you become close to me huh? and so it's easy to damage me huh? tell somebody be careful huh? of how you're rubbing the enemy close to you huh? uh, you don't hear me up in here huh? oh, God Almighty some of you huh? you're busy walking about looking for friends huh? keep your foot still huh? you don't need no friend huh? God never called you to get friends huh? God called you to preach huh? the word in season huh? and out of season huh? I'm running ahead of myself Ha, hallelujah ha, hallelujah ha, but I'm gonna preach this word anyway ha, hallelujah ha, tell somebody ha, be not afraid of their faces close your ears tell them close your ears be careful what you're listening to you don't need to hear all that's wrong you don't need to hear all that's not right what you need to hear is that we serve a mighty God and awesome is his name hey God almighty Yeah, hallelujah. Sit down a little while. We're gonna hallelujah. I want to talk to you because I want you to understand. I don't want you to leave this place. Uh, do that shout and with a jump. Say, no, I'm more than a conqueror. And you don't understand how you become more than a conqueror. Mm. So now when Jesus, hallelujah, was born. The Bible lets us know that he went to the synagogue around the age of 12. And God now, Jesus now, hallelujah, was reasoning with the doctors. Now you got to understand, huh, these were not medical doctors, no. Huh, these persons were theological doctors. Huh, these men studied the law. Huh, these men slept in the law. Huh, these men walked in the law. Huh, everything about them was, hallelujah, according to the law. Huh, ah, but when Jesus came upon the scene his words were like mystery unto them because how is it that this young man speaks with such authority and confidence Mm -hmm. Ah, God Almighty, Jadiel, Jadiel, Malan Reed Jr. The Lord just told me to tell you, be not afraid of their faces. Jadiel, Malan Reed Jr. I call you by name. The Lord just told me to tell you, be not afraid of their faces. God just told me to tell you that what He's about to do in you, He's gonna use you to speak to some people huh? and they're going to be amazed huh? you've been come here to me huh? I feel Holy Ghost come here come here run come run come huh? excuse me a little here huh? hallelujah huh? 
Lift up your hand. I anoint your mouth. Say not that you're a child. You cannot speak. I anoint your mouth in Jesus' name. I anoint your tongue. Be not like Moses and say that I have a stomach. I can't speak boldly. God say what he's placed into your mouth. He's gonna use it. To speak to some people in high places and they're gonna be confused because they're gonna say, How is it that this little boy speak with such wisdom and authority? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I prophesy over your life right now. You shall accomplish that which the Lord Jesus said. God is going to move up in this place. Huh? Your stadium, hallelujah, huh? looking amazed. Huh? Like you don't understand huh? that this is the Holy Ghost filled church. Huh? Ah, God Almighty, huh? hallelujah. Huh? If God has appointed you up in here, huh? you have authority. Huh? It don't matter what age you are. Huh? Uh, say not that you're but a child. Huh? I hear God saying, young people, huh? open up your mouth and prophesy. So now, hallelujah. He told Yarabosa. He told Yarabosa. Say, thank you, God. She told Mata. She told Yara. Hey, yes, God, thank you. She told Yarabosa. Ah, God Almighty. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you are a boss. Hey, ah, the boss. Spirit of discouragement, I speak to you now in the name of Jesus. Get out of here. You don't belong in here. Spirit of discouragement, the Lord Jesus rebuke you. The Lord Jesus rebuke you. I wish I had some warriors up in here. Open up your mouth and run the spirit of discouragement out of here. You don't belong up in here. You don't belong up in here. Somebody also it out of here. Also it out of here. We got to go. We got to go. What is this God? God, you're messing up my message. Mighty go. Mighty God Almighty. I feel the sun in my spirit. I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but the power and the soul mind. Touch your mind. I have a soul mind. I have a soul mind. Come on. Speak to yourself. I have a soul mind. A soul mind. No fear. No discouragement. No oppression. Let go, Yanabo Saka. Let me loose up in here. Let me preach at the Gala. You too. Oh. Yeah, let me loose up in here for a second. Hey, hey. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let go. Oh, oh, oh. Let Hey, hey. Woo! speak it with confidence huh? I am appointed huh? therefore I'm more huh, than a conqueror 
You don't care what no devil say. You don't care what your parents say. You don't care what nobody tells you. Ah, God Almighty, I am appointed. Therefore, I'm more than a conqueror. I don't need your ministerial license. I don't need to be a part of your organization. If God appoint me, I'm at the highest of appointing. And I don't need nobody to back me. If heaven backs me, I must speak the set the Lord God Almighty because I've been appointed we're going to talk a little we're going to talk a little mm, we're going to talk a little see, see too. And see, hey mm. Jesus had them in awe. He had them in awe. But reason with me for a second. How is it that Jesus at the age of 12 had such authority and such level of wisdom because it was prophesied. Jeremiah prophesied about his wisdom. Isaiah prophesied about his wisdom. So how is it that at age 12 he had such wisdom, yet still his ministry did not start until age 30? Y'all remember I told you that Jeremiah came from the priesthood child? And because he had not yet gotten to the age of 30. See, already God was getting ready to switch the order, but man couldn't understand it. Because man couldn't see what was befalling them. So when he switched the order with Jeremiah. Really that should have been a sign. To them. But they still never got it. I want to speak to the church here. Y'all can't be so sanctified and spiritual. And you say you know the Bible from Genesis back to Revelation. That when God wants to do something now. And brings a revelation. That y'all say, hey, 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 hey. We don't know it like that. That's not how we used to do it in our days. Oh, we have never seen that before. Y'all sit little. Let's talk. Let's talk. And so now, Jesus, because he came to fulfill the law, he waited until it was time. Ah, right quick, let me tell somebody. God might brought into you some vision, but the vision is appointed for a certain time. Don't jump up in the pulpit now talking about God gave me a vision. God gave me a vision. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And talk off your mouth. Uh, Sometimes you got to wait. Uh, most times you got to wait for the manifestation, for the fulfillment. Uh, the vision shall speak and it won't lie. But if you talk it before, you disrespect the order because God said line upon line and precept upon precept. Order! You see, the church don't want to hear about that, you know. I feel like a pastor preaching up here. God says, order, church. God says, order. And though God, Jesus was a rebel, he still followed protocol. And so he didn't start his ministry until age 30. But in three and a half years, Hold on. Let's turn to Luke chapter 4 right quick. Mm, Luke chapter 4. Hey God help me up in here. I, I'm done preaching now. Y'all get the message already. Oh, God almighty. I just want to make sure that when we leave here. Mm, Y'all don't leave here just saying I'm a conqueror. I'm a conqueror. Hallelujah. And then hallelujah. When something comes up in front of you tomorrow. 
or tonight while driving back down. Hallelujah, you start to say, I'm dead now. <laughs> so because now Jesus was prophesied about, it shows that he was appointed by God for such a time as this. Uh, so now when it was time for Jesus to go into his ministry, uh, oh God Almighty, the Bible said that Jesus went on fasting. Uh, and when he went on fasting, when he came back out, hallelujah, uh, the Bible said that he went into the synagogue. Uh, and when he went into the synagogue, uh, he opened the book. Uh, are you there, church? Uh, in the book of St. Luke, uh, chapter 4. Uh, verse 18 and the bible said that he opened the book and he spoke huh? the spirit of the lord is upon me huh? because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel huh? to the poor he hath sent me to heal the broken hearted huh? to preach deliverance to the captive huh? and the recovering of sight to the blind huh? to set at liberty them that are bruised huh? to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Huh? The Bible said that when he got done speaking that, huh, he closed the book. Huh? And then the Bible said that Jesus, huh, hallelujah, because he was appointed. Huh? And let me tell you, when you're appointed, huh, you're anointed. Huh? He ain't going to appoint you huh, and not give you his anointing. Huh? If he calls your name huh, and tells you to go, huh, you better believe huh, the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Huh? And so because of that now, huh, he could say this day huh, is the scripture fulfilled huh, in your ears. Huh? Y'all know hear me up in here. Huh? This day huh, is the scripture huh, fulfilled huh, in your ears. Huh? They wanted to kill him. Huh? They wanted to stone him. Huh? But don't you know huh, who God bless? Huh? No man can curse. I shall not live oh, I shall not die but I shall live and declare tell somebody I shall live I'm going to live I'm going to live this day is the scripture fulfilled in your heels and when he said that it was no time to walk in the full manifestation tell somebody this day is the scripture fulfilled in your Years huh? because hallelujah, and oh God Almighty, I heard this a while ago. Huh? Listen to me when you're anointed and you've been appointed, huh? it doesn't mean that you won't get discouraged, huh? it doesn't mean that you won't get discouraged. Huh? Oh God Almighty, huh? for the Bible said that when he went, huh? he prayed the prayer, Lord, huh? if it be possible, huh? let this cup pass from me. Huh? But the Bible lets me know huh? that a ministering angel. Huh? came and ministered to him huh? sometime brother Romeo huh? when you're going through what you were going through huh? you don't need nobody to tell you like you need to plead the blood you need to plead the blood huh? sometimes you just need somebody to say brother I got you in prayer huh? sometimes you just need somebody to say huh? don't worry huh? though the ship huh? may be rocking huh? and the sails huh? may be torn huh? you shall rest huh? in the eyes of the storm huh? sometimes you just need somebody Somebody to tell you, huh? no weapon huh? that's formed against you huh? shall prosper, huh? and every tongue huh? that rise against you huh? shall be condemned. Huh? Sometimes you just need huh? a Caleb. Huh? Sometimes you just need huh? a Caleb, huh? so that when you get discouraged, minister, huh? and the entire church come against you, huh? Caleb can just open up his mouth huh? and tell you, be still huh? and hold your peace. Huh? Hold your peace. Huh? Be still huh? and hold your peace. Huh? Thank God for the ministering angel. Huh? Thank God for the ministering angel. Huh? He comes to you sometime in a song. Huh? Sometime he comes to you huh? in a word. Huh? When you feel like you're going to let go. Huh? He comes to you huh? in a word. Huh? And say, be thou strong. Huh? Why art thou cast down? Huh? Oh my soul. Huh? Oh! Hope now in the Lord. I'm here to tell somebody. Hope now in the Lord. 
And so Jesus went. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he went, he fulfilled that which he was supposed to do. Because he had to die. He had to die, church. He had to die. And because he died. Hallelujah. The Bible said that he laid down his life for a friend. I hear hallelujah. John as he got it. And he said no greater love or no man than this. That he should lay down his life for a friend. Oh God almighty. But he laid it down because he had hallelujah a great a purpose for us. He had something for us that was going to allow us to walk in authority and to manifest the full authority of God. And so now when he laid down his life, the Bible said that he went into hell and he took the keys of death and the grave. You don't understand me. God even, Jesus even started to walk in the conquering authority. Can you imagine it? When he laid down his life, it was just so he could go down into hell and conquer it. Oh God Almighty. And when he conquered it, he came back up and he said, whatsoever you bind on earth, it shall be bound in hell heaven and whatsoever you loose on earth it shall be loosed in heaven he's just giving you he's just giving you the key he said listen me listen me you're more than a conqueror you're not just a conqueror because a conqueror is somebody that will win this battle but when the next battle comes they say no 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 that ain't my fight that's not me i can't deal with that but somebody that is more than a conqueror what they're going to say is, Hey, a bear came. Hallelujah. A lion came. And I teared it apart. Somebody that's more than a conqueror is going to say, A bear came to eat my sheep. And I tear it apart. And when Goliath came, Hallelujah, wanted to eat up my flesh, I looked back and I shot him with the blood. I shoot him with the blood. I said, do, 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 do. With the blood of Jesus. Jesus, because I'm more than a conqueror. You don't hear me up in here. I'm more than a conqueror because he gave me the key. Jesus looked under the spaces and he said, Greater works will he do in my name. You don't got to fight your battles. All you got to do is call the name of Jesus. For when the enemy comes in like a flood, my Jesus, cover me. Cover me under him blood. So sometimes you can't fight it. Just cry Jesus. Sometimes you don't know how you're going to make it. Just say Jesus. So mighty God. Am I talking to a church up in here? You don't know. Mighty God. Tell somebody I'm more than a conqueror. Come on, man. Talk to the person, man. Look them in the eye. Let your boy, let your eyeball go fall out. Look them in the eye. Let your eyeball go fall out. I tell them I'm appointed. Therefore, I'm more than a conqueror. Therefore, I'm more than a conqueror. He said, greater works will I do in his name. And so he came to his apostles. And he told them, tarry in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Until you be endured from an eye and when they were in one accord in one place the bible lets me know that suddenly don't you just love oh my god is a god of suddenly you don't gotta wait he may be late but he's right on time because when he moves he moves suddenly my God is the God of suddenly. So he sent the spirit, which is the promise that Jeremiah prophesied about, that Joel prophesied about, that Isaiah prophesied about. In one little verse, the Bible says suddenly, all that was prophesied years ago, in one second, suddenly.
everything uh, was fulfilled uh, and the Bible said uh, that they spake uh, as the spirit of the Lord uh, gave them uh, God Almighty uh, hallelujah the authority uh, to do uh, but that ain't my message church uh, the Bible lets me know uh, that Peter uh, the Bible said that Peter uh, when they looked on Peter uh, and they said to Peter uh, oh, these men must be drunken when they looked among them Themselves. Huh? Peter stood up and said, huh? These men are not drunken huh? as he supposed, huh? but this is that huh? which was spoken huh? by the prophet Joel huh? that in the last days huh? God is gonna pour out huh? upon the spirit, huh? upon all flesh, huh? his spirit. Huh? And get this, get this, get this, huh? your sons and your daughters huh? shall prophesy. Huh? And your your men ha, shall see visions ha, and your whole men ha, shall see trees ha. tell somebody get your mouth off of me ha. take your eyes off of me ha. take your hands off of me ha. God give me vision ha. it was prophesied ha. God give me vision ha. and because I have vision ha, I'm more than a conqueror because I can see when the enemy ha, is coming in like a flood ha. and I can just pull back ha, I say in the name ha, of the Lord Jesus ha. Satan ha. the Lord rebuke you ha. the Lord rebuke you ha. because I'm more ha, than a conqueror Tell somebody you're more than a conqueror. Speak it to yourself. You're more than a conqueror. When you have the Holy Ghost, you become more than a conqueror. When you have the Holy Ghost, it don't just is not just good for today. Ah, but it's good, hallelujah, for tomorrow and the next day and the day after. So if you have the Holy Ghost, you're more than a conqueror. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, Goes, huh? I hear the preacher say on Thursday night, huh? you need the power, huh? you need the power, huh? because the Bible lets me know huh? ah, that hallelujah, huh? oh God almighty Lord help me, huh? ah, power, huh? and he shall receive huh? power, huh? and then after that, huh? oh God the Holy Ghost huh? has come, huh? you get power huh? before you get the Holy Ghost, huh? you get power huh? before you get the Holy Ghost, huh? Just touch yourself if you need the Holy Ghost. Huh? I say, God give me power. Huh? God give me power. Huh? Where's Raji? Huh? Where's Raji? Huh? God Almighty. Huh? Oh, God Almighty. Huh? You are Holy Ghost. Huh? Where is Mighty God? Huh? Where is Natalie? Huh? Where is Natalie? Mighty God. Huh? Look like them leave. Huh? Them don't want power. Huh? Them don't want hold Mighty God. Huh? Anybody need the Holy Ghost? Huh? Oh, God Almighty. Huh? Are they here? Are they here? Huh? Oh, my God. They leave. Huh? Can you imagine such power huh? is in the house of the Lord? Huh? Mighty God, mighty God! Come here, young people. Huh? You need power. Run, come, run, come. You need power. Run, come. Huh? All of you in that row, you need power. Huh? Come, run, come, run, come. I'm done preaching. Huh? You need power. Huh? You need power. Huh? What shall separate me huh? from the love of God? Huh? Nothing huh? shall separate me. Huh? Not height, huh? not death, huh? not principalities, huh? not powers, huh? not anything present huh? or things to come huh? shall separate Rate me ha, from the love of God ha, because I'm more ha, than a conqueror. Ha, I'm more than a conqueror ha, because I got power. Ha, the Holy Ghost is moving inside of me. Ha, it brings power. Ha, and so if you want power, ha, touch yourself and say, God, ha, give me power. Ha, open up your mouth and say, God, ha, give me power. Give me power. Ha, give me power. Give me power. Ha, because God did what he did. Ha, I are more than a conqueror hallelujah come on put those hands together and praise God tonight come on somebody put those hands together and praise God tonight hallelujah come on lift those hands and worship God tonight hallelujah y'all step on up y'all step on up hallelujah no not to that for you just step a little closer to me hallelujah 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 everybody rise to your feet tonight 
Hallelujah.